Yo, what's up guys? Uh, just before this video starts, just wanna let you know, uh, you know what to do, and go ahead and listen to Liquid. Peace! Viewers, what is up? I am Liquid, and you know what? Today we're going to be talking about those crazy girls that will not leave you alone, that are stage 5 clingers, sometimes stage 20 clingers. I know, not too many of us realize there is those things such as stage 20 clingers, or the ones that want you to throw that ring on it, and then are always holding your hand like, okay, what are we doing tonight? What are we doing today? We're we gonna have lunch together. We're we gonna have breakfast together. We're we gonna have. Da -da -da? It's like leave me alone, bitch. Sometimes it's not so good to hang around me that much. I'm not gonna lie. Some girls are just so crazy. They get psychotic. I don't know. They don't have hobbies. It's like we have games. We have sports. We have ESPN. We have MLG. We have game battles. We have YouTube, and they have makeup, shopping, and talking drama with friends. And that's pretty much it. And I'm not talking smack about all you females. Sorry, entertainment purposes. But you know, there are those females that do typically like to cling on to the guys. And it does get really old. What do you do about it? How do you knock them away with a broomstick? Do you get your baseball bat out, take a nice swing, and knock them out to next week? No, you don't do that because that is one, illegal, and two, immorally wrong. Yes, morally wrong. Don't go around smacking bitches with hammers, hoe bats, and anything else that you can possibly think of. It's not like Dead Island, you see those crazy bitches in bikinis coming at you, and you can smack them upside the head with a freaking nail hammer. Yes, a nail hammer. Sounds cool? No. It only sounds cool in a game. So, what do we do to get rid of these crazy bitches? Well, one, they will hang on you, they will Basically, I don't know exactly how to tell you to get away from it, but to run as fast as you can when you notice it's happening. I don't know, mostly it happens with the virgins. Whenever you take a girl's virginity, it definitely seems like they are very clingy. And then again, it happens a lot whenever you're dating a girl for a long time, you're hanging out all the time, and whenever you start hanging out more than four times a week, they definitely start to cling. And I'm talking about in high school, not necessarily college, because in college you do see each other more because you live near each other. That is if you go to the same college. But we're talking high school a little bit more in this sense as far as if you see each other other than school, you know, hanging out, it seems like they tend to cling. It's like they don't have that whole concept of real life. And especially whenever you're outside of high school and you're dating a high schooler, they have that drama still, they have that clinginess, and it comes a lot with they just, like I said, don't have any real world experience as far as they haven't got out in the world outside of high school, had that freedom, lived by themselves, become more independent, and they are dependent. They want to cling on you like their mommy and daddy, other than you are their boyfriend and they want other things from you. Yeah, you can figure out what that thing is. Anyways, so... I will say I've noticed a lot of crazy girls. I've dated really only three girls. I've been around a lot more girls, but I mean, I actually dated longer than like a week. Uh, okay, yes, there's those high school wheel of week things. There's those middle school two day things. Maybe even those 24 hour things. You're just like, oh yeah, I like you. That's cool. And then you just kind of break up after the school dance because you had a good time and you didn't. So let's just go with the fact that I'm talking about actual relationships I've had three so I've had one that I had when I was back in when I was a junior we dated like five times off and on before that we finally dated and it was like two and a half year relationship she was a crazy bitch she would go around smacking the shit out of me half the time because well she was a I don't know horseback rider she was a little bit of a redneckish and she just smacked the shit out of me I got tired of the bitch and we canned that bitch into the ground okay not into the ground but we did get rid of her anyways so and then the next one came along and she was a little crazy she was a little bit of a nympho she definitely was psychotic and we got rid of her as well and then the last one she wasn't terribly bad it's just whenever I went to college I was still dating her and, well, it didn't work out very well because she always wanted to see me during the week. Well, you can't see someone during the week when they're at school and they're an hour away. You can't expect somebody to spend that much gas. Okay, especially when you have no job. So, crazy bitch. Okay. If she watches this, I'm going to probably get a phone call and she's going to be like, What the hell are you talking shit about me? You know what? It was a good time. It's just, like I said, kind of got it annoying. I'm sure the things I did got on her nerves as well. Now, there is one girl that is completely psychotic. So, of course, this one girl that my roommate, my freshman year, dated, she was deranged lunatic, okay? This girl could have been put in a mental institution. So, let's just say I had my room right beside his. I mean, we had a four-room suite, and of course, thank gosh I had my Xbox and my TV turned up real loud. I couldn't hear a thing. Thank gosh for Turtle Beaches after that, because I couldn't hear a thing that was going on over there. Let's just say he had to always come over and borrow condoms, etc., etc., Fill in the blanks. Yes. 
I will say that crazy bitch rode him harder than Knight Rider rode Kit. Is it Kit? Yeah. So, okay, that was a bad analogy, but you kind of get my drift. So, the whole concept of it is crazy bitch decides to go crazy. Clingy, he gets rid of her after probably a good two months. I don't, I don't know, it may not even been two months, but let's just say he was a college guy. What did he want? And he started dating her because he liked her, and he was also getting some, so therefore they dated and he decided to get rid of her, and let's just say one night we were sitting up in the room, and we noticed outside the window, she was sitting there in the freezing cold, we're talking November, okay, snow almost on the ground, and she's sitting outside rocking on the sidewalk under his window. Yes, it was that bad. Well, let's just say they did get back together, but they did break up again, but crazy bitch. Totally set outside in the cold, rocking in shorts and a sweater, just chilling there like, oh my gosh, please take me back, please take me back, I'm not that crazy. So pretty much somehow the crazy bitch got into the dorm and she came upstairs and kind of like waited outside our suite room and we was seriously ready to jump out the window on the other exit, just trying to run away from her. So anyways, crazy girls, I know what you think about them. Any input? Do y'all have any stories? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, I'm Liquid and I'm out. Peace.